Hello, this is uh, Ramasu Ramasu, and welcome to my presentation on uh, Person 1 to 5 from the 2012 uh, BGCSE Science Double Award Paper 1. The first question reads, uh, which of the following is an SI unit of length? Well, the answer there is, is uh, meters. Uh, meters are the SI units of length. So to convert uh, meters to a centimeter, you multiply uh, you multiply these meters by one hundred uh, centi here. That uh, the uh, the prefix centi uh, comes from uh, century uh, century, which means which means uh, one hundred years, right? So centi means one hundred, and to change from centimeters to uh, meters, you divide by uh, one hundred again. And to change uh, change meters to uh, kilometers, you you divide uh, your meters by one by one thousand, because kilo k means a thousand this k here or the kilo means a thousand right and to uh, convert your your uh, kilometers to meters you multiply by one thousand to convert your meters to uh, to millimeters you multiply by one thousand and to convert your your millimeters your millimeters to uh, meters you divide by 1000 you, you divide your millimeters by 1000 to get uh, meters part c says part 2 says that uh, the diagram shows uh, a student uh, measuring the height of another student using a ruler. Which type of error can be caused by the by the height differences of the two students? Well, this is a, a parallax error. Um, parallax error is when uh, you are taking a, um, a reading, but but your eye is not uh, level. With the with the reading, or or, or with the ruler, or, or with the measuring instrument, right? So if you're taking uh, um, a, a a measurement like this, then your eye uh, needs to be um level uh, with the uh um, with the measuring um uh, instrument like this. So if your eye um is not level, the error that's th that is most likely to happen is called uh, a parallax error. Okay. Part three says uh, an an object is dropped from a helicopter that is uh, hovering one hundred and twenty five meters above the ground. What is the time taken by the object to reach the ground? No, ignore air resistance. Okay, so this is a um, a Suvat question. It's a Suvat question. Suvat, where S is your displacement, U is your initial velocity, V is final velocity, your A is a uh, acceleration, and your T and T is time. So our displacement here is a uh, one hundred and twenty-five meters, right? Our initial velocity because and they tell us that that the object is dropped dropped so this means that its initial velocity was zero uh its final velocity we we didn't really care about so let's cancel this out its ac acceleration uh is 10 because they tell us to ignore a resistance here so this means that the object has uh, a constant ac acceleration of 10 meters per second squared right. 10 meters per second squared 
and the time the time is what we are looking for so let's put a question mark there now we use the uh, the equation s is equal to ut plus half uh, at squared right but but because we know that our u is zero from here we know that our u is zero so we can take uh, this part out of the equation and we end up with a s is equal to half at squared now because we are looking for time we, we we have to make t the subject of this formula we have to to have t on one side of the um, uh, equation on its own so to do that we start by um, eliminating uh, this uh, my denominator here yeah, the two we start by um, eliminating eliminating the, the denominator so so we multiply by two on both sides of the equation times two times two so uh, these two will cancel right so we end up with a uh, 2s is equal to a t squared then uh, the next step is to divide by a on both sides divide by a so then we end up with uh, t squared t squared is equal to uh, 2 s over a this and a it looks it looks like a 9 but it's supposed to be an a okay so then we need to end up with just t um on its own not not t squared right so then what we do next is that we take uh, the square root both sides take the square root both sides and we end up with t is equal to the, the square root of 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 2s over a right the square root of uh, 2s so the 2 times our s our s was at well, 125 meters right so that's 2 times 125 over our a is uh, 10 meters per, per second squared uh, it is given here so then this is a uh, 200 the square root of 250 over 10 uh, let's move this to the space here so then th this, this is the same thing as uh, the square root of of 25 and so we get uh, 5 here so this is 5 uh, 5 seconds right 5 seconds Yeah, so our answer here is B, 5 seconds. Uh, question 4 says, uh, In a car cooling system, uh, water flows through narrow pipes joined to uh, a black to black fins. What is the main reason for what is the main reason for painting the other fins black? Well, um, in the radiator, the fins are painted black to um, emit more heat. So to emit uh, more heat, to emit more heat, because uh, uh, the um the color black, the color black uh, is a uh, good. Uh, emitter of heat it's a good emitter of heat oh it's a good heat emitter right question 5 says uh oh before uh let me uh, let me clarify that uh the the color black is a, a a good heat absorber only if the only if the heat source say you have um a fire here right you have a a, um, a fire 
my drawings is is is, uh, is uh, really bad so if you have a fire or um or a heat source right and then you have uh say a black a black plate then you have a black plate and uh say a white one right and they are both uh, the same distance from the uh from the fire from from the fire or from the heat source this is the only time that the color of the object uh, matters the black uh, surface will, will will absorb heat better than the white one right if you have uh, hot water flowing through uh, a white pipe and a black pipe they will absorb um heat um, at the same rate uh, regardless of, of whether this one is white or whether this one is is uh, is black yeah so um th that is why I'm, I'm i'm choosing to say uh the uh the pipes are painted black to emit more heat right so question five says uh the, the diagram shows a man uh using a pulley to load a, a box of mass 50 kg into a car i take g as a 10 Newtons per kilogram. How much work was done in raising the box from the ground to, to the height of uh, 1.5 meters above the ground? Well, this is, you use the, uh, the formula uh, potential energy is equal to mass times gravitational pull times height. Our mass here is given as 50 kilograms. G is given as 10 newtons per kilogram right and our height is given as a uh, one meter i mean one 1.5 meters <laughs> 1.5 meters you put this in your calculator it gives you uh, 750 joules right so your answer here is d 750 joules okay so this is the end of the um, presentation my name is uh, ramasu ramasu you can find me on facebook or you can follow my Facebook page, uh, BGCSE Tutorial Videos. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.